Hey guys, gals, and Legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Let's Roleplay Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, Dusk's Tale. Now, last episode, we managed to come across something that I've never actually seen before in the world of Cataclysm, all the way across over by Orrington. Uh, this up here is a missile silo. We are going to be attempting to activate the computer that's in there. I don't know whether or not that's, that's a great idea or if that's a terrible idea. I have no idea what's going to happen if and when we start that thing. But I feel like curiosity has got the better of me. I want to know for sure what's going to happen if we activate that PC or what options we might have available to us. Um, I think it's worth us experimenting with. Um, so we have been reading as much as we can over time. Um, we've read a decent amount. We've managed to get our computing skill up to seven at the moment. Um, we have a number of intelligence enhancing drugs with us. Uh, we should still have the pack of cigarettes as well. So we can kind of team those up with Adderall. It'll help give us a little bit of a boost. Um, we still have the computing book with us, which we'll probably end up leaving behind uh, with other things. We are going to need to wake up uh, Chung. So let's go ahead and quickly call out to him. Just say, hey, buddy, uh, you're going to need to wake up. Because we will bring them with us, but I think what we'll probably end up doing... Actually, you know what? This might be better to do as a solar mission. I'll be honest. I think it's going to be safer if we do that. So let's wait for him to come inside here, and then we'll have a chat to him. So, Chang, my friend, um, I'm going to ask you to guard this position. And I'll say see you around. And we're also going to talk to Lady Sis, just while we're going to have to wake her up, um, unfortunately. So I apologize, Lady Sis. We're going to wake you up to say, please stay here. Don't follow us, because we're going to be doing something, you know, potentially very, very, very dangerous. So we're going to ask you to guard that position for us, and we'll see you around. So they're all going to be waiting here. They're going to be holding down the fort. Um, these are old. They aren't um, off yet. So they'll be on their way, though. That's for sure. So we might have something there. We still have our gallon jug of milk and the rotten broth, which is fantastic. So we've got that to go with as well. Let's go ahead and drop that book back into there. Um, we do want to make sure that we are taking our foldable cart, though. Um, and I'm trying to find out where that is. It's outside. Let's go fold that sucker up go and fold you and we're going to grab you pick you up and we're not going to be able to quite easily put you into our cart so we'll just um store our umbrella in our inventory for now we're just going to keep the let's close up shop actually yeah there we go and we're going to turn our lights off out here as well if we can so control vehicle and we want to go ahead and turn off our headlights perfect okay do we have our head torch back yet uh, we do, and it's also completely out. That's unfortunate, but we have the other flashlight there, so we might just end up taking a few batteries with us. So let's just have a look at our battery supplies that we have. Let's just take 100 with us. There we go. Fantastic. We're going to go over and get out of here. <sighs> Wish me luck, my good friends. Wish me luck. Um, so we can see that we're already... Our hunger and thirst is kind of uh, gone. Um, we were slaked and everything before. There we go, that's the door we're after. Okay, we're going to be closing that up. Let's get that open. It is actually, uh, yeah, it's it's gone night out. I only just realized, because we had our headlights on, it seemed like it was actually daytime outside, but... It isn't. It is not day. Okay, so, we're going to go ahead and drop our cart just beneath us here, so the engine crane. Dropping that on the ground there, and we are going to go and get this rolling. But we are going to make sure that we actually turn on the headlights. Let's go ahead and get those on. Just so we can see a bit further ahead of us. Um, I feel like I might have needed to have brought some more light with us. Um, hang on, let me think about this. Is there anything we're forgetting right now? No, I feel like we've got everything. Yeah, if we're going to be able to do this, uh, fingers crossed we can. We, we, well, we haven't maxed out our skill, but I feel like we're high enough now that we should stand at least a chance. Um, I'm probably going to have to use a lot of that uh, light, that flashlight, on our way down there. Because obviously I don't want to be smacking into anything or running into anything terrible. So we're going to use the rest of that light there, just to make sure that we're safe around us. Um, another thing that I could do is try and install a floodlight or something like it. That would help us out. Um, oh, hello. You, that's a little dangerous having all of that close to the house. Um, that's something that we might have to deal with when we get back. But there is... What are, you, what are you? I don't recognize you. What the hell are you? A zombie night stalker. 
Oh, it's a brute. So it's essentially like a shade zombie, but it's a brute, which is just uh, all kinds of fun. So obviously uh, we can see them at the moment because we have the light on them, but imagine once they are in proper shadow, we won't be able to see them at all. So we definitely want to try and lead them away from the home if we can, because we don't want to come back to finding them uh, snacking on our friends. That's the uh, last thing that we'd want to have happen. All right, we're going to get moving along and fingers crossed it is going to be a pretty nice and easy drive for us although you know this is a solo drive and we know the last time that dusk did a solo drive it didn't end up so well for her uh, we ended up driving into a minefield late at night that's where we're very far north from here so we're going to try and avoid any obstacle that might be in our way as we make our way to this missile silo um, and I kind of imagine this is why Dusk is doing it by herself as well, because uh, she doesn't really know what's going to happen if she activates that uh, computer. So there is a chance that a missile could be launched. Where that missile goes, what it does, I have no idea. Um, I have never seen or heard of the missile silo as a site before, so I don't know if it's something that's been added in recently, or if it's something that's been around for a while that I just haven't seen. Um, it's entirely possible because the world of Cataclysm is a big place and there are a lot of things to be seen there. Um, especially with, um, you know, mods and other other bits and pieces that have been added in over time. There are a whole heap of things that uh, many of us have never seen before and uh, don't really know what they do. And I thought we had a crash then for a second, but we're okay. We're alright. We definitely want to uh, avoid that lava. And we'll just keep on keep on keeping on we should only use a few percentage of fuel on this journey it's not going to take us that much and i think we are going to take that northern route to kind of go around past the uh yeah around past the factory because from memory there was only a worm in the field i don't think there were any landmines so we should be pretty safe in that regard although oh god that was very close to the edge of the bridge let's not ditch this thing in the water that i would not be super happy with um, there is the solar vehicle up here as well, which I've just seen marked on the map. Something that we'll want to come back for eventually. Something that we don't need right now, but um, all of those extra solar panels, and most of them are going to be upgraded. Um, that's something that we uh, don't want to scoff at. Okay, cruise on past all the armored vehicles on here, which didn't seem to do too much against the uh, hordes that washed through the area. Just going to stay at 80 kilometers for now. And I think once we kind of get to... We will follow the factory road up for a little bit, just because it's going to be safe. Or at least safer. We'll see. We don't want to get too close, though. Because, um, yeah, as soon as it starts to turn off, that's where we turn off. Because the factory is dangerous in its own right. They're going to have anti-personnel turrets, and they might even have anti-vehicle turrets as well. And uh, they will slice through us very, very, very quickly. So I'm hoping we're just going to be able to take a pretty much almost direct route right up. So far, so good for Dusk. But uh, it, it is generally nights like this that uh, I end up running into minefields. We were very, very lucky the first time with Bogart that we uh, didn't, you know, rupture the fuel cell. Uh, oh, fuel cell. The fuel tank, rather. Uh, because if that happens, the entire thing blows up, and that's not so good for us. But man, a lot has died here since we've been through here last. Uh, last time we were driving through here, we did drive into a giant toad, or a giant frog rather, and it exploded in violent fashion. Okay, so we know that this area is irradiated, and you know what? I, I probably should have, it would have been smart for me to, um, wow, okay, that was a, quite a bit of a slide there. Okay, make sure that we are actually stopped, that's good. Yeah, it would have been smart for me to take some proper radiation protection with us. Um, yeah. At the moment, I'm thinking we're already irradiated, so I think we're probably going to be okay, especially if we're just quick moving through here. Um, the radiation badge that we have hasn't turned black yet, so it's kind of a good sign, I suppose. So we just need to hope that it doesn't happen when we're down here. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and turn off that. No, we're going to leave the flashlight on for now. We're going to need it down there, so we are just going to try and move through it as quick as we can. It's doing a little bit of save. That's fine. It's good. I should try and quick save after we do our little journeys like that. Um, a habit I might try and get into, but the auto saves, they seem to be pretty good. Um, and we haven't had any crashes since that, uh, since Groundhog Day. And it's all been going fine. 
Okay, keep on moving down. Haven't seen any notes about our radiation badge changing color just yet. Actually, you know what? I'm not seeing any irradiated clouds around here. So I wonder if it's somehow dispersed. Um, also, I feel like I've totally missed the direction that we're meant to be going. Somehow. How, how have I missed that? Um... Okay, I must have missed it over here. Oh. I walked, I literally walked past it. Well done, Rykon, well done. Okay, we're down here. So, we're not tired, we're not anything right now, which is good. That works in our favor. We're gonna go ahead, we are gonna start smoking a cigarette to start things off. Boom, we can see that our intelligence is now 13, which is gonna help us with our computing skill. Then we're gonna take some Adderall, which should boost, <laughs> boost it up even further, and that's actually boosted it up to 17, which is pretty good. We can see that we're in a good mood right now, so... Fingers crossed this works. I don't know how safe it is for a tree-like person to be smoking, but... <laughs> <laughs> Dusk doesn't seem to mind. Um, it would be interesting to see if that was a, you know, a negative side effect that came from smoking. You could potentially set your leaves on fire. <laughs> Maybe that's something we'll see in the game eventually. Who knows? Okay, so, missile controls. We're thirsty? That's fine. Our intelligence is pretty much as high as we're going to be able to get it. We've raised our computing skill up a whole heap. We are going to attempt to bypass the security here. Oh, shit. Okay, so we failed. We failed. Um, and secure, secure bots have emerged. And they're hostile. Um, okay. Well, he can't really do anything on that side. I think. Oh, God. Huh. He's going to expend all of his ammunition. And I'm perfectly fine with that. We're just going to stay here. Um, smoking our cigarette like a boss. Can we actually use this again? It's blocked. It's going to be blocked for about an hour. So, um... I'm just going to stand here and hope that this... Look, I think he's already out. I think he's out of... Uh, yeah, I think he's out. Okay, so we can see the Adderall has slightly worn off. We're down to 16 at the moment. Uh, which could be better. Let's just wait a little bit longer. And we're just going to keep on checking back. Because I'm not quite sure exactly how much time. Mm, still. We'll wait until we get to 11. And we can see that the flashlight is slowly running out of charge. Okay, it's still blocked for now. Can't remember the exact time that we started it on. Okay, I think it's also because our um, cigarette has run out. Um, let's actually leave that off just for the time being, that flashlight. We won't, we're not going to go ahead and recharge that. Still blocked. Um, what we don't want to have happen is the security console to just shut down. Okay, alright, so we can try this again. Again, crossing our fingers. We are going to have a cigarette. We don't want to get addicted to smoking here. Okay, so that's helped us out a little bit. I don't, honestly, I don't know if taking any more Adderall is a great idea. I think we're going to try it one more time, see if that does give us a boost. It does, it gets us up to 18. I don't think we want to take any more than that. I'm, I'm a little concerned about just overdosing on drugs right now. So, I think this is pretty much our best chance that we have to do this at the moment, unless we do go back and just read even more to try and uh, just improve our computing skill. Let's see what we end up getting. Bypass security, yes. Login successful. We freaking did it. We did it. I don't know what this is going to do for us. I have no idea. I'm completely blind going into this. Launch missile. Disarm missile. <laughs> what happens if we launch the missile? What happens? Like, I, I honestly don't know. This could... I mean, this could... Destroy Dusk. I would like to think... That if she was going to launch this missile, that she'd want to try and hit her lab. The lab that she came from. The lab where that Shogoth was. Although, obviously, that is still kind of semi-close to where our mansion is. I mean, it's close. We did, you know, we did do nuclear... We, we set off mini nukes down there and at the mansion. So, maybe Dusk's idea of how powerful a nuclear weapon is, is based on those, maybe? And so she thinks that uh, she might be okay. I don't know what it's targeting on. We could disarm it, or we can launch it. I honestly don't know what's going to happen if we launch this. I can kind of imagine Dusk sitting there by this monitor, the only thing that's emitting light in this dim room. Through the security glass on the other side, she can see a robot just going backwards and forwards, its guns clicking, trying to kill her, but being empty of ammunition. She looks at the screen, the three options blinking. Launch missile, disarm missile, 
quit and shut down. What is she going to do? Her finger hovers over the one key and over the two key. With a deep breath, she holds it, presses down the one key. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that is so anticlimactic! Of course, of course, there is another layer of security there. We need to hack into the system to be able to do this. A password is required. We do not have the password, so again, Dusk tries to clear her mind, lets out that deep breath, and attempts to hack into the system. And we get electrocuted. Damn it. From the east we hear beep, beep, beep. Perhaps the robot is uh, laughing somewhat because of us getting shocked by the uh, by the monitor. Um, it is still successful, so we might just be able to try it right, right away. Although I think we'd probably need to, I'm gonna quit and shut down just for now. We probably need to take some aspirin just to try and get rid of that pain if we can. Um, let's see if we can quickly go ahead and take some aspirin. We're on a cocktail of drugs right now. I don't want my intelligence to drop down any lower than that. Hopefully, oh shit, it's already starting to drop. We're gonna get some back when we lose our pain. We're back up to 17. It's better than nothing. We're a little thirsty, so I might just see if we can quickly drink some of that broth. We're full, we're feeling good. Let's open this back up again and attempt to launch the missile. Hack into the system, yes. Oh God, come on. Unsuccessful. And apparently more secure bots emerge from compartments in the floor. Oh God, it's right here. That's not good. That is in the room, that is right in front of us. So, question is, what do we do? I think there is only one thing we can do in this scenario. And that's for Dust to grasp something that's been hanging around her neck, hanging there for a while. She tears it off and puts the ring of forbidden miasma, the one ring, she slips it onto her finger and she disappears, fading into invisibility. Above, on the surface, she can hear a storm coming. Okay. We need to move away from this thing. It cannot see us, it can hear us, but it's not gonna be able to target onto us. So, theoretically, we might be able to just take some shots at it. That's entirely possible. So let's see if we can do that. Okay, all right, there are a lot of different, um, the aim has really changed here. I've got essentially, oh, so that's current aim, regular, precise, Okay, so we can see essentially what we'd be able to get for a precise aim. I'm actually fine with the precise aim. Let's just press precise. Okay, we managed to hit it with the metal arrow. We are still firing from invisibility right now. And so far it's working. Now, this kind of technique isn't going to work on every enemy because some enemies operate on smell and, uh, you know, they operate on other things outside of visual. Right now, the security bot, they can only hear us. So they can't really target us. Uh, we can see if we do a precise shot from here, we have a really good chance of hitting, although unfortunately we do miss it uh, because it went outside of our uh, aim there. Okay, another precise shot helps us. We don't want to get any closer than this right now, so what I might end up doing, and this I hope will not kill us, if we turn on our flashlight. We need to actually reload it first to be able to do that. Uh, that's the jade brooch. No, that's not what we're after. We are after the flashlight, which is capital R. We want to make sure that we reload that. Ignore all further and stop reloading. No. Let's go ahead and turn that flashlight on. Um, there we go. And we are going to fire. Okay, all right. We need to back up again. So it still doesn't know where that light source is coming from. So it's actually working out in our favor at the moment. We don't have a great shot from back here. I don't want to be close because these things explode. Okay, not quite good enough. How many shots do we have left? We have two. Let's make them count. Holy crap. Okay, so we were caught in the explosion there a little bit. We're going to make sure that we turn off our flashlight. We are going to take off the ring. And we are going to put that away. Um, our intelligence is still good right now. And while it probably isn't a great idea for us to continue with this right now, I think we are going to. I am going to go and pick up these metal arrows though, because we are going to need them. Uh, signal receiver we will take, just in case we need it. 
17, we're not going to get any better than that. We've electrocuted ourselves once. If it happens again, we might just have to um, call it. We, we won't be able to do this, but we are going to attempt one more time. And I guess we might be asking, like, why is Dusk so adamant on doing this? I think it is because she is afraid of what she saw beneath the earth. I think it is because she was afraid of that Shogoff. Something that she still isn't sure whether or not she killed. I mean, it was kind of plaguing her mind for the longest time down there. So I think there's still a chance that it could be alive. And this is her way to potentially kill it once and for all. Okay. We're going to attempt to hack. Oh, God damn it. Again. Again. All right. We're going to have to slip this ring on. We're going to have to get out of here. Ain't nothing we can do about that. Other than just attempting to kill it again. We are wearing the ring again. Which is going to help us out. I'm hoping that it kind of comes over to here again. Just so that we can actually take some precise shots at it. Okay, that's not bad. Again, pretty good. I don't want it to blow up the console. Like, that's that's something that I'm afraid of happening now. So, I'm just going to try and whack this wall. Okay, see, it heard that. It heard that. It's coming towards it now. So, we're going to go ahead and activate that flashlight. We're going to take a precise shot. We're going to take one more. Okay, all right. We're caught in the explosion, but it's... that It's just the flames more than anything. At the distance that we're at at the moment, it's not going to hit us that bad. So, we're okay in that regard. Let's take it. We're not in pain. Our intelligence is still the same. I don't know. I honestly, I don't know. I think maybe it's best for us to stay invisible for now. <laughs> One more try. Third time lucky. Fourth time lucky, maybe. One more try and then, and then I promise we're calling it. Okay, that's it. That's it. We can't do it. Our skill is not good enough. It is right here. We're being a little too uh, reckless at the moment. Okay, he's moved out the way. That's unfortunate. Nothing we can do about that. Looks like we decided to go for that one instead. We'll just turn on our flashlight because it, it cannot see us. It has no idea where we are. We're going to precise shot that and uh, it was just a grazing shot. And let's see. Precise again. Precise. Okay, we should be able to kill it with this one. Heavily injured. Uh, if we hit it. Okay, we're actually missing quite a few here. How many more do we have left? I think that's our last arrow. We're going to have to go pick some up. Okay, while it's up there, that'll probably work for us. Grazing shots. It's because um, he is actually quite far away at the moment. Now, if we destroyed... If we destroyed uh, that staircase... I don't think it's possible, but uh, I would not be... Not be happy. Hey, at the very least, we're improving our archery down here at the moment, so... We've managed to deal with that for the time being. It doesn't look like we're going to be seeing a missile launch anytime soon. We do need to improve our computing skills, so that means we are going to be heading back home. Unfortunately, we need to have a really good computing skill to be able to do this. So we're going to take all of that with us. Grabbing that, grabbing that, and we are going to be heading back up to the surface. Um, we're going to need to uh, kind of just come down off everything for a little bit because we obviously are quite hyped up on a number of different drugs, so we don't want to be taking many of those, um, you know, in a, a short space of time. So I don't think we're going to want to try this again within the next few days. So that gives us time to prepare and actually uh, make sure that we have all the skills that we need to. Oh, and let's take off the ring because we're still wearing it right now. So yeah, that's good. Um, mechanically, there aren't that many negatives to us using the ring. Um, it makes noise. So if we were dealing with enemies that are attracted by, no by noise, they would be able to find us. Um, sounds like there is something here. We're probably just hearing that robot down beneath us. Yeah, let's jump back up. I think we're close to the surface now. Here we go. There we go. We're back out here, and it's a relatively clear night from what we can see. And it looks like maybe even this area is open now. Oh, no, no. Okay, it was just like shaded, interestingly. We spotted a zombie, uh, but has it spotted us? to the south. Uh, looks like it might have caught our scent, but we are going to jump into this. Let's just check the... We're on 18%. We're going to need to fill up eventually. We don't need to right now, so we're just going to step on the gas, and we're going to get ourselves home. That's our plan at the very least. 
We don't want to hit the missile silo as well. That would uh, probably not end so well for us. But uh, unfortunately, that is what it is. Um, you know, I guess uh, we need to have just more skill. Um, it's not an easy hack. Not that it should be. Um, you know, it's a very secure facility and it would require quite a, you know, intelligent hacker to be able to get through that system, I'm sure. Um, so, we are going to continue reading the SICP book, which is going to take us up to about 8, which is uh, one level higher than we're at now, but then we should have another computing book which will help us do that. Um, we might be able to take control of that robot inside if we can make ourselves a control laptop, something that I would be wanting to have a look into. I've, honestly, I've never made one before, but I've always been intrigued by the idea of it. We could essentially get a robot army of sorts if we went to that factory and we were, if we were able to take over a number of them. Um, because we could also just shut down turrets. We could shut them down um, from a distance and... Well, we actually saw some turrets in the distance then. We could use those very turrets to guard our home. So, uh, something for us to consider in the future. Alright, we are going to be turning making our way back across the bridge, making our way back home, and, um, well, the others didn't hear any explosions in the distance, and I'm sure some of them are still even asleep, uh, so they won't even, they won't even know what happened during the night, they won't know that Dusk snuck into a highly protected, uh, missile silo, and attempted to launch a nuclear warhead not too far from them, yeah, I still don't know what happens, I don't know what happens if you launch the missile, that's what intrigues me about this, is that, you know, like I've said before, a lot of cataclysm is learning through doing and learning through deaths. That may be a death for us. I don't know if launching a missile <laughs> while we were in there is a great idea. Probably isn't a great idea, but that's something that we learn together and it's something that we learn uh, through deaths. Hopefully it will not be a death for Dusk. That's not something that I want to see happen, but uh, you know, accidents happen and nuclear missiles get launched and well, yeah, <laughs> that is that. That's our. This is our short-term goal for now. Obviously, long-term goal, as as always, is survive as long as we possibly can. But our short-term goal for the time being is trying to get that missile out of that silo and launched. Because I, I I'm just curious. I want to see what's going to happen. You know, I want to know what's going to happen. And maybe there is a part of Dusk that thinks the same way. But uh, yeah, her roleplay reasons. I'd have to say it's the Shogoth. It's the Shogoth that's causing that. Um, we just killed the smoker. Good. Um, I am a little nervous about the crowd that we're attracting just south of us, though. That could be a potential problem. Hoping that many of them might have dissipated, although they really have just been seeing... It seems like they've just been trying to... They've been growing over the last few days. Um, okay. There was a smoker there, apparently. Not anymore. All right, where are we turning? That's the lab. We don't want to go that way. That's where we're going to be trying to bomb. Um, and we can see that there is a, you know, a decent... Well, actually, there isn't a lot of distance between that and our mansion. So, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Um, it would be interesting if the... If when launching the missile, you could actually select where it went. That would be interesting. Because I think I would try and bomb the lab. Um, yeah. Hmm. I'm just, I, I'm honestly, I'm so curious as to what's going to happen with that. I just, uh, I don't even know what its purpose is. Or even how new it is. It might have been in the game for quite a while. Something that I just haven't seen. Alright, so we're coming up closer on our home now. And I'm not seeing those others. Hey, driving has gone up to seven. Nice. Great. That's fantastic. And we're not seeing those zombies. So either they've, they've smashed their way into our home while we're gone. And are feasting on our friends. Or they have heard something else nearby, and that's caught their attention. I'm hoping it's the latter at the moment. All right, ease our way around. Um, I'm kind of going to be going into this blind, unfortunately. That should be where we want to go. What? Oh my god! I was like, why can I not see? We we did that completely blind. Dusk, I'm, I'm kind of impressed. <laughs> We did that with no uh, visual assistance whatsoever. We just kind of uh, guessed, and I think we are actually centered as well. Let's just turn on the flashlight real quick. Yeah, we're, we're right in the freaking center. Excellent. Okay. Uh, we're thirsty, so we're going to have some of that. Actually, you know, before we have that broth, we're just going to come back into here, and we are going to try and decant some of that other broth. Uh, let's see. Get items. 
Jug of Broth. Okay, so we want to try and unload that if we can. So we're going to go U for unload. Unload that. Pour into container. Canteen of Rotten Broth. Um, and we just want to exit because we want to leave the rest in there. Okay, so it actually does work. So even though that broth wasn't rotten, if you put it into something that is rotten, it's going to be classed as being rotten. So that actually works out really well for us. Um, so as long as we keep something that's even a little bit rotten in there, we can just keep on refilling it with more broth. It might seem like abuse, but the way that I see it is that there's bacteria that grows in that broth. And as long as we kind of keep that present in our canteen, it's going to infect whatever we put in there. Um, and, you know, start breaking it down at a faster rate. So I think it's fine. It's just like we're constantly making kombucha. Okay, all right, we're back home. That's good. We've got some shot. We've got those middle arrows. Um, the shot we're just going to leave behind for now. We probably will give that to Shayla once she's all nice and healed. Let's actually just check up on Shayla, see how she's doing. Let's examine those wounds. Okay, she hasn't healed too much. Um, yeah, we just need to keep an eye on those on the left and right arm and just watch out for when they're when they have actually healed. We are tired at the moment, but I would like to try and read a little bit more of the SICP if we can. Which isn't going to be the most entertaining thing in the world, but um, I wonder, you know, we could always turn the stereo on. We might be able to hear it from outside still. We'll let the game save, and we'll go ahead and turn it on. We're also going to need our headlights on as well, so get both of those on. Headlights, and we will also turn on the stereo. Okay, so we'll hear some pumping music before long. Okay, I wonder if we can still hear it from outside here. We should be able to. Okay, all right, we are going to attempt to read this thing. We should be nice and comfy as we are now. Let's start reading. Okay, all right, we are hearing some music, so that's good. That's going to help us uh, stay in a kind of a good mood. And we are eating at the same time. We're at 99% and the sunlight is irritating us, but we managed to get to level 8, and that's everything that we can learn from SICP. Um, can we learn anything else from it, though, is my question. Books? No, apparently we can't, so we are going to go and drop that in there, because that's what we do with books that we can't learn any recipes from or anything else. We just, uh, we burn them. <laughs> it's just not a good process. It's not a good thing to do. No, it's just so that I, I, I don't end up uh, holding on to things that we don't need right now. Um, okay, so... Looking at this, we need to find another that can raise us up even higher. Um, trapping, cutting, shotgun, cutting, mechanics, trapping, bartering, 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 fabrication, trapping. It's not looking good. Did I just go the whole way through? Crap. No way. That's everything? Damn. We don't have um, anything on robotics. Well, crap. Damn. Um. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. Um, because we can't get our intel, we can't get our computing skill any higher, uh, without those books. Disease immune. So good. So good. Um. Okay. What are we gonna do about that? Hmm. Um. Let's jump into here real quick. I want to see if there is a possibility of us making a control laptop. Um, so I need to go search first, and we're going to search for control. Uh, control laptop. Okay, we need, oh wow, we just need one laptop computer, uh, which shouldn't be too hard to come across. We could maybe even make one ourselves, um, and a Hack Pro. Hack Pro is going to be a little bit harder to come across, but I think we'll be able to find it. So we, as we can see, this is a modified laptop now capable of transmitting in ultra-high frequencies utilized by robots. Activate it to command robots from afar. Don't know how powerful it is, but uh, it could be really cool. And as we can see, we can make it um, UPS, well, it, it is just recharged by a UPS compatible recharging station, which we have, so that's good. Uh, but we could also charge it with standard batteries. But unloading it is impossible. Okay, good to know. Um, so apparently, yeah, so that is from Robots for Fun and Profit. We have actually read that already, so let's have a look and see if we can make the Hack Pro. And then we'll have a look at the laptop computer, because laptop computers should be a little bit easier for us to find. Uh, no, we can't make that, unfortunately. We can make an, an, an electro hack, but uh, yeah. Damn. It can be used to crack passwords and more. Hmm. Hang on. Oh, but not computers. Ugh. Yeah, allowing it to connect to almost any control panel or other electronic machine, but not computers. That sucks. Nothing we can do about that. Um, damn. Hmm. 
All right, well, let's see then if it is very difficult to make ourselves a laptop. Uh, no, we can't do that. We need to find one. So that means searching in the town. Where would we go for that? I imagine if we're going to be searching for laptops, there is a high chance that we might be able to find them in not bookstores, but probably libraries, I would imagine. There is a chance that we might be able to find them. Either that or office towers. I think office towers would probably stand a good chance at having them. We haven't seen too many office towers, though. Um, we haven't actually seen many um, high kind of story buildings. I kind of like how this is laid out at the moment here. Like, this is obviously the kind of suburbia of... Um, of Carthage. Like Carthage is like these are all the shops and everything like that and then the houses are actually out this side here. It's actually quite well laid out. I do like it. I do. We got an electronic store up there. Okay. Okay, that's where we're going. We're going to the electronic store. Um all right, so that's right on the other side of Carthage at the moment. So it's a bit of a trip to be able to get there. Um I feel like this is another good solo mission for Dusk, but at the same time having the others two with us could be good. They are still on the mend though, so I think we are gonna leave them here. Just because I don't want to put them at risk at the moment. I feel like we could do this solo. Um worst case scenario, we can always just slip on our ring, right? I think that would work. Okay. Punch dagger. Can't forget to actually re-equip those. Uh, that's the heavy survivor suit. No, that's not what we're gonna do. Uh, damn it. That's frustrating. We need to make sure that we're wearing that. Now I'm gonna have to go and change everything around. God damn it. Uh, actually, you know what? Having that on the outside is probably what we want to have. Yeah. That should be on the outside of everything. That's fine. Uh, but apparently we dropped a whole heap of stuff because of that. There we go. Okay, that's good. We're full, we're slaked, we're feeling pretty good. Um, we are a little bit on the tired side, so I would be nervous about us going while we're tired. I think we still have some coffee around though, right? Yeah, we have a canteen of coffee, so let's just have that, see if that helps us out a little bit. We might even make some more. Um, yeah, go ahead, see if we can finish it. Oh, we should have some coffee as well. That also boosts our intelligence. So it's not, I guess that's something to think about. We'd have Adderall, we'd, we'd have cigarettes, and we'd have a coffee all at once. It's our, like our intelligence concoction that would uh, that would do it so we're gonna make some more coffee just so we can actually bring some with us let's go ahead and make six units of it use regular water get rid of the mouse and we're gonna use our integrated tool set bam pour that into the plastic canteen on the right fan freaking tastic good so we have two canteens we have one on either leg at the moment one full of coffee one full of rotten broth we are a strange creature i tell you we are a very strange creature let's go get that stereo turned off because we don't need that to be on anymore um same thing with the headlights we can turn those off as well the others will be plunged into darkness for a time but they'll be fine they'll they'll share stories of victory and other things together <laughs> um is there anything else that i should be bringing with me that would be smart to do um we should be recharging that head torch um i don't know how long it's going to take for it to recharge we're just going to chuck it in there and just see so let's go here drop that into there go and turn that on control vehicle recharger wherever it is turn on recharger let's just wait a little while here i'm going to go and check it have a look at it oh wow that charges damn fast Get items. Oh, that's it's so fast. That's actually really, really, really handy. Um, so we'll go ahead and grab that. Control vehicle, and we will turn off the recharger. Where our head torch? Uh will we other will we keep the other torch around? Yeah, I think so. It doesn't take up a lot of space. I think I'm fine with that. We don't need to have that syringe on us right now. Um, also, we don't need to have that blindfold as well. We'll keep the welding goggles just in case we do need to try and burn through anything cigarette butts we don't need same with those blueberry seeds and that plastic bottle um the casings we don't need batteries we will hold on to drop that back there as well um and i'm fine with that i'm, I'm fine with everything else that we've got there boom there we go let's get on the move dusk leave the others behind another solo mission for us and we're gonna go ahead and jump up here we might even try and get some gas for bogart while we're out there as well it's something that i will consider Get this thing started and we're going to start rolling out towards town question which way are we going to go what's going to be the safest and easiest way for us to go at the moment um i've never been that far north i'm thinking if we can try and stick to the outside it would probably work out for us although i know this area here is a little dodgy if we can kind of make our way through here follow the swamp along go between the two churches and just stay on the outside of town i think we'll be okay we have actually cleared those houses out so we shouldn't be dealing with as many dead around there in theory but in practice we have no idea what's going to happen 
So, we'll just, uh, we'll play with it as it goes. Okay, um, alright, so I'm gonna try and come between the houses, if we can. Alright, just dodging weaving. We are level 7 driving now, so it's, uh, it's definitely better than we've had it before. Oh, damn, we're gonna hit that. No, we're not. Wow, that was a very, very swift last minute move there. We can see that there is actually a first aid kit in that house, which is useful, but uh, we're going to pass it by for now. Bogart is super maneuverable. Um, <laughs> I'm actually really impressed with how easy I'm finding it to drive at the moment. Now that I've said that, we are going to die. That's how things work in Cataclysm. So, we're going to slip between the two churches, like so. Um, really good temporary base, a church, if you're ever looking for one. Um, they can be really good to hold out in. I kind of like that we're going to be clearing this area a little bit here as well, seeing if there's anything interesting going on there. So we want to keep on going up. We want to go past this um, meteor, uh, meteor craters. Um, they're not meteors, they're, they're just craters. Um, that is actually locations where uh, missiles would have dropped originally. So I'm assuming that's the case. I'm assuming that's what they're from. So let's just keep on moving up through all of these bushes that we don't want to be hitting because they are rather large. And they will do damage to Bogart. Alright, giant rail snake, don't let him poison us. Let's keep on going. What do we got? We've got a lot of dogs. Chill dogs, it's okay. Alright, we'll let the game save, that's cool. Wasn't saving as much that time, so it must have just been saving like a chunk. Not 100% sure how the uh, saving process works there. Now, we are seeing a number of dead. We haven't been up in this area before. We're seeing scorched zombies. Okay. The fires have been spreading up this way. Or it could have been from the craters. It could have been from the missiles themselves. So, we want to be turning down this road here. Working our way up and onto that main road. Driving past the bowling alley. And uh, just making our way through the rest of the town. I might sound a little nervous. And it's because I am. It's been a while since we've been rocking through town like this. I think we still have our survivor's mask on, so we should be fine to do this. Um, and sure enough, I don't think we... Yeah, I think we're fine there. Okay, so we're seeing quite a few of them, it would seem. Um, so we are just going to step up the speed here. Because we do need to come through here at quite a pace. We really didn't want to get any of those boomers, um, you know, spitting any bile on us. I'm fine with hitting... Oh god, okay, wow, that actually did wreck the chair. Steering wheel is torn off. Son of a bitch. That is not good. There's nothing I can do for Bogart. It is going around in circles right now. Okay. Um, shit. Shit. Really not good. Okay, are we still in the vehicle? We're not in the vehicle. Okay. Okay, okay. This is a, this is a ring scenario. 100% a ring scenario. We're gonna go ahead and slip that thing on. Uh, Bogart is now running independently of us. Um, it is going round in circles right now, and it's going to get torn to pieces. It's going to attract all of them to it, which is a, a good thing and a bad thing, because they're just going to... They're going to tear him to pieces. Ah, uh, Bogart, I'm sorry. Okay, so this thing is still making a lot of noise. We can see occasionally it does make a whole heap of it. So we just made 140 sound. So what we want to try and do is once we get far enough away, we want to go ahead and take it off. God damn it. It's not made for running. It, it's not made for ramming, rather. I should have been more careful back there. I really should have. What is that? What are you? A shriekling. Mutated child. Twitches and flails. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. We've got a feral predator coming our way as well. We've got a lot of bad things coming our way. And they're all going to start trying to work their way through that. Uh, and we can see that we have even more fun coming for us. Capital F fun. Okay, you know what? It's time for the ring again. We're going to try and use it to move our way through here as best as possible. We're actually going to have to start running to try and get some distance now. Still trying to move our way up towards the electronics store. Okay. God, there is a lot of hell. Fast food restaurant. Oh, jeez, look at all those Zs. Okay, so we're going all the way up there. And there's, yeah, there's even more of them out here as well. 
Now, the majority of them we can actually handle, so we are going to start to try and walk now. Because we are going to have to deal with some of them as we get closer to uh, the edge of the town up here. Now, have we been all the way up here before? I feel like, no, it wasn't this side that we've been to. It was down, it was down over here that we've been. We definitely haven't been this far north. Okay. Looks like there's something in the basement of that building. We're coming up to the electronic store now. Once we get there, we are going to be taking that... Mm, yeah, we are going to be taking that ring off. Um, doesn't look like there is much there at all, which is kind of heartbreaking. That Bogart is now spinning around for practically nothing. Let's go get this door closed. And we'll see what we do have here in the store. So we have a heavy duty flashlight. We have some solder. A camera. A cell phone. No laptops. No laptops. Definitely none. None over there. Oh, that is, uh... That is frustrating. That is really frustrating. Um, Bogart, I'm so sorry. But hey, can you imagine if we brought everyone with us? I mean, they, they don't have the rings. They don't have the power of the ring to fall back on. Okay, let's give these punch daggers a try. We're going to go ahead and make sure that we're wielding them. We have the punch daggers in our hands now. Let's start to do some work. Um, okay, no, we're wielding our freaking armor again, aren't we? Of course we are. Did we put that on? Okay, wield. Let's make sure we're doing it, doing this properly this time. Punch dagger. It's capital X. I was just praying. I was pressing lowercase before. Okay. Wow. That uh, that was good. That was good. We sent the swimmer flying. Then we trip the swimmer zombie and we kill that son of a bitch. Um, let's go grab our bits and pieces, and we are just going to be smashing as we go. Ignore. Okay. Sounds like there is some fun happening inside here. Uh, we are going to see if we can just lockpick it real quick. We open it, and what do we have? We've got a tough zombie, let's try and deal with him. The vines are doing a pretty decent amount of damage, and we're actually knocking them back as well. Okay, good. We're doing a lot of counters here as well. I'm assuming that the, you know, they are actually doing some, uh, some damage for us here. Come on, you. Let's deal with this grabber. Good. Lash him. Slash him to pieces. That's what we do. There is a first aid kit in here. Uh, we are going to have to deal with some of that horde. If we're going to make it back. Oh, there's a shock brute. fan friggin -tastic. That's exactly what we don't need. God damn. Um, yeah, so the, the shock brutes, we can't really go hand to hand with them easily. Because they're just going to be throwing us about. Um, we could unequip the, the punch daggers. That means that we won't be hitting him with something metallic. But even if we're not, even if we're just using our hands, still like actually making contact with it will shock us so that kind of screws us up in that uh in that area we can try and take some shots at it with our bow from a distance but because of how nerfed it's gotten um it can shoot it so essentially what it's going to do is it's going to fire out its um electricity towards us which is going to stop us from aiming it's going to close distance with us so that we don't really have a shot to to get anything off with our bow and um, so really the only chance that we have to try and take one of these things down is once it gets close uh using our submachine gun to just try and blast it full of holes that's really the only chance we have to kill one of them so we're, we're gonna have to try and avoid it for the time being which um i don't like running from them not now not while our vehicle is on the line but we're gonna have to do it for the time there is still a chance that it could catch sight of us could catch up with us uh, we are seeing some giant wasps down there, giant flies apparently, and uh, zombie master! Well, ain't that a thing. Great. Okay, alright, so I'm just looking on the minimap at the moment, that's how I'm kind of tracking where things are. We are going to try and make our way back to Bogart, um, and kill everything that's around it. Whether or not that's possible, I'm not sure yet. Okay. What do we got? Swimmer zombie. Hasn't seen us yet. Okay, that shocker has probably seen us now. He sure enough has. Uh, so what we might try and do is just hide behind here for now. We're probably going to have to fire our gun. Um, and I know that's probably not the best thing for us to be doing. Unless... 
unless, here's a thing, what we could do, and I would feel justified in doing this because of how nerfed it's kind of gotten recently, is wearing the ring. Wearing the ring, it might still shoot in, a, in the direction of where we are, but I think that's going to give us a chance to actually use our recurve bow to try and hit this thing. How did we miss it so badly? Okay, we'll try and do a precise aim. Okay, we managed to hit him for 63, which is really good. We are going to try again. Um, essentially, the precise aim and the current aim is exactly the same, so we are just going to try with the same aim, because um, it is in the same position, essentially. So, we should be able to kill this sucker now. Okay, and with that, we are going to be taking off the Ring of Forbidden Miasma. We are going to be equipping our Punch Dagger. Store that in our inventory, and we are going to start to do work against these tough zombies. There we go. We're going to make sure that we smash that to pieces. Stop smashing. No. We might be able to get some bionics from that, but right now, I honestly couldn't care less. Okay, stop smashing. No, we need to catch our breath back, though, so we are just going to take our time here. We are going to breathe, and we're going to keep on moving. We're going to go see if we can take care of that spitter zombie and this tough zombie that's lurking over here. So we're going to wait until it spits like that, and then we're going to charge it. Use those punch daggers, kill it, Wait for the others to start to come closer. See if we can take down that Feral Hunter. Tough zombie, and now the Firefighter. One more. Come back to me. Okay, Dusk is a bit of a machine right now, and we are not going to, we're going to wait. We're not going to splatter it, we are just going to butcher this sucker. Let's go and butcher it. Spit a zombie. There we go. And now we can smash anything else that's there. No, we're fine. Okay. So, I kind of imagine her just like whirling around in circles with these punch daggers and with her, you know, vines like lashing out. Um, she is a force to be reckoned with, definitely. Alright, we're going to keep on moving. Making our way down to where our vehicle was, which I believe was, was it over here or was it down here? It was, uh, one of the two. <laughs> Might be over this way. We've seen a Rottweiler, let's let it come to us. Along with the Z9 as well. I can't actually see. Okay, they're up there at the moment. Um, Bogart might be salvageable. We might be able to fix it on the go here. Potentially. Not going to be easy, but we might be able to do it. Alright, the sunlight's starting to get to us now. It's cleared up a little bit. So that's going to be uh, making Dusk feel a little bit of pain. Alright, done. What do we got? Another Rottweiler? We've got another tough zombie. There we go. Yeah, so the, the brawling's actually working out pretty good for us, because we are doing countering, and we are sending them flying as well. That, and we're also knocking them to the ground, so it takes some turn for them to actually climb back up. Um, smashing them is actually improving, or was improving our survival skill, which I find interesting, because before it was the... Um, it was uh, butchering them that would do that. Alright, so he's going to run over here. He is going to blow himself up, which I'm fine. We've got our Survivor's Mask on, so that's going to do absolutely nothing. We'll stay here. You know what? We're not using our fangs because of the Survivor's Mask. And that crick, uh, we can't really do anything. Oh, well, there we go. We hit it. Let's see if we can take off the Survivor's Mask now. So we can start using our fangs as well. There we go. And we're using our fangs. So we're using everything now, which is great. There we go. Great. Uh, we got that boomer approaching, so I'm tempted to put the mask back on, but you know what? I think we'll be fine. There we go. Easy. Done. Let's make sure that we're actually bashing them up okay, so we don't want them to coming back. And we're gonna see if we can find Bogart. We're gonna see if we can find where the hell it has ended up. There is a bus that is still active there. Still on. Knock you back. Now let's kill your friend. Done. So we can see that she is definitely capable against, uh, oh, that's right, we are, we can actually be affected when we don't have our mask on. Good to know. Uh, let's see if we can throw that, can we not get the baseball bat that's on the ground? Not easily. So what we'll do is we'll just back up, we'll wait for him to explode, try and get out of that as quickly as possible. We are badly poisoned at the moment. I don't think that's going to be affecting Dusk too much. We do have one of the Night Stalkers hanging out inside the bus there. 
Um, alright. Oh no, so we can actually see the car marked on the map. So it is still to the south of us. So we are going to start to continue to work our way down there. I want to see if we can catch this guy in the bus. We might be able to. Yep, we can. He has knocked us back pretty bad. Denting a lot of our stuff at the same time. He's quite strong. He, he has a decent amount of resistance. Um, that and he is actually quite hard to hit. He's probably going to knock, knock us back again. Damn, it took a lot to kill that thing. What are you? Are you a skeletal dog? You don't look like a skeletal dog. Okay, right. Deal with you. Um, let's go ahead and get that mask back on. So that we can actually go into the smoke here. And deal with that. Alright, getting back out. Um, now, unfortunately, I couldn't see the corpse of the Night Stalker. Oh, there we go. We got him. Uh, do you have anything interesting? No. Doesn't look like it. Well, that's fine then. We're dealing with a little bit of pain. Let's go ahead and have some aspirin while we're out here. Um, aspirin, there we go. Okay, all right. We're feeling a little tired. We might need to take some more coffee in a moment. Let's go ahead. We are going to take off our mask as soon as we've dealt with the dog. Take it off. So we're just going to take it on. We're going to put it on and off as we see trouble approaching. We're going to keep on working our way down here. What is the white V? What a curiosity. A pawn shop. Okay, there can be some interesting things in there, so we might kind of stop in along the way. Screw you. Screw you. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and wield our reflex recurve bow. We're going to go ahead and put on our ring. Fading into invisibility. We are going to take a shot at this. Uh, are we out of arrows? We're out of arrows. Crap. Oh. Hang on. We're not wielding the bow right now. So he might still have arrows? Yay? Nay? We don't have the bow. Oh, I'm wearing it. But I'm guessing, do we still not have any metal arrows? I can't see any. Yeah, out of arrows. Uh, well that's not great. Um, let's see, what are our fists gonna do against this? Is it gonna screw us up? Is my question. Oh god damn. That's not good. So it could still, um, a snake? A snake? What? Okay, weird things, weird things going on when we are wearing that ring. We are going to go ahead and take it off now. The shadow snake melts away. What the hell? So, um, what happened there was, um, <laughs> A lot of weird things happened there, and we're in a ton of pain now, uh, because unfortunately us putting that back into our inventory took a long time, and it was able to detect that we were there uh, through sound alone. So we started attacking the space that we're in. Luckily, because we were brawling, we managed to catch a lot of the attacks, but something happened while we were there, and this shadow snake, there was a shadow snake that was sprouting out of our body, and that's because of the ring. Okay, right. Well, that's really not good. I mean, like, our arms are in, in, in not so good of a way right now. We want to make sure that we are smashing up that body. We're going to ignore everything else for the time being. We are going to wield our punch dagger, and we need to use some first aid kits. Um, we actually have two of us right now, because I don't want these arms to break. We are going to deal with this zombie first, though. Sinking our fangs and lashing it with vines, we send it reeling to the ground, dead. Okay, let's see. What are we going to do here? Let's go ahead and activate our first aid kit. We'll use it out here. It's going to get our left arm feeling better. Same thing. I kind of almost imagine us just injecting ourselves with a whole heap of crap and wrapping bandages around it, hoping for the best. Um, we are going to need to take some codeine to try and get that pain under control. 45 pain ain't nothing to scoff at. We are in a decent amount of pain. But before this episode is over, I want to lay eyes on Bogart. I want to see the fate of our, well, our wonderful vehicle. So we're going to keep on moving our way down. Um, it is just to the southeast of us now. And it sounds like there's trouble beneath us as well. Skeletal Dog, Bogart does not look like it's in good condition. It is still running currently, but it's not spinning in circles. It was going almost 100 kilometers when it stopped, so there are probably a number of bad things that are going on there. We're going to see if we can chuck this on in time. Sure enough, we can. We're just going to wait for it to explode and walk away from it. God damn. We are going to come into this pawn shop for the time being. 
and get that thing opened. Okay, what, is there anything interesting in here? Not really. A sleeveless trench coat, well, cool. And there's an acetylene lamp. Interesting. That's kind of cool. Um, acetylene is quite hard to come by, though, and it's usually used as the acetylene torch. Um, what is that? Just a syringe. Okay. All right. Guys and gals, this is where we're going to be wrapping up today's episode. We are lucky to be alive. And Bogart is lucky to be alive as well. Um, it's only just alive. We're going to need to try and heal it before we can get back home. I still want to try and find ourselves a laptop. An office tower or anything like that is probably going to be a good place to start. Although, unfortunately, we don't seem to have many office, office towers in here. What is that? It's a pool. Uh, and that's an abandoned storefront. Um, something else that we might want to try and have a look at is some of the other libraries. And I honestly don't think there are that many. There are bookstores that we've had a look in. But we, uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to find much in those. What do we have there? A music store. That's an antique shop up here, I believe. The A. Yeah. So we're not going to find any laptops in there. Veterinarian clinic. Let's see. Subway station. Liquor store. Yeah. Unsure. Radio station. We might be able to find a laptop there, potentially. I honestly think the offices would be the best places to go for those. Um, jewelry stores are always good because we can find a decent number of resources that we need in those. But uh, the center of the town is still unexplored to us. So that's something that we might be having a look at next episode. We might be rocking in there with just dusk and seeing what we can do. But um, yeah, I, I mean, I would love to find some more books on computing. So if there is a library in there, we're going to look through that and find whatever we can. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't know if we are going to find anything else in here. Um, usually the very high-end books, those are things that you are going to find in labs. Um, so we might even have to go lab hunting to try and find some. I know that we haven't been all the way through some of the labs, so it might be worth us revisiting some of them. Um, yeah, I'm trying to remember. Like, okay, so this is an ice lab. We haven't been the whole way down. No, that's the CVD machine. Okay, I'm glad I marked that. Um, I know that one of the labs here is an ice lab and that we weren't able to go the whole way down it. Um, I wish I had marked it. <laughs> I really wish I did. Uh, but it doesn't look like I have. So, unfortunate, but nothing I can do about that. Um, there probably are some libraries in Orrington that we could go through, but Orrington was a mess. I don't think we're going to want to go back there anytime soon, even though the refugee center is there. Um... Yeah, I don't think it's worth us investigating. Uh, and that is a mortuary. So, again, not super helpful. I think what we're going to do is go and have a look through this area here. See if we can find anything interesting in this unexplored area of town. Something where we might be able to find a laptop, potentially. Uh, but we're going to be going through on foot. I'm going to be leaving Bogart here. I'm going to be trying to fix it up. Um, you know, if we can fix it up well enough, then I think we will take it with us. But I'm going to be much more careful with Bogart because... Uh, that could have been uh, a full-on explosion if they managed to tear the thing apart. Luckily, they didn't, so that works in our favor. And luckily, we didn't get thrown from the vehicle while it was still going at high speed, because even though it was trying to push itself to 100, it wasn't actually going at 100. We actually slammed to a stop when we hit that um, bloated zombie, so we're lucky. We're lucky that that went down the way it did, because speed can kill you very easily, even when you're really strong and quite well armored in this game, so definitely something to watch out for. Thank you all for joining me for this episode, though. I've been Rykon, this has been Dusk, all alone for a change. You have all been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned.